Hi you guys, welcome back to another Vlogmas video. Today's video is all about movies to watch and maybe a couple to skip during the holiday season. The reason I wanted to do this video is because it's another way that you guys get, get to know me a little bit better. You get to know, you know, the kind of things that I'm into, the kind of humor I like and the kind of humor I don't like. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Today's video is going to be divided in four different categories. It's gonna be classic favorites, new favorites, kids favorites, and a few that maybe you should skip this holiday season. I hope you guys enjoy. So I have my notes here because I didn't wanna forget any of them and we're gonna start off with kids favorites. So I'm talking about little ones like my six year old grandson and you know, just kids in general. One of our favorite ones is Author Christmas. That movie was so cute when it came out. He, I remember watching it with him. He loved it even when he was like, I think he, we watched it when he was either three or four. Loved it. And it's one of our favorites this to watch during the holiday season. Number two is Mickey's Twice Upon a Christmas. That one is so cute. He used to watch that one on repeat. So if you have a little one, even a one-year-old, a two-year-old that you, you know, just sometimes put the TV on for them and you let them watch movies, that one is an adorable one that he used to really, really enjoy and love. Next, we have The New Grinch, the cartoon version of it. That one is really cute. He loves that my grandson Adam that's one of his favorites now he watches it all the time even when it's not Christmas time he's watching that movie next we're going to head into new favorites and for this I have two and that is Noel and that is with um, Anna Kendrick and I thought that movie was so adorable I'm a big fan of hers so I love that movie and the reason I'm a big fan of her I'm such a big fan of hers that she's actually for my novel that I wrote Between Us and the new novel I'm writing, the sequel to Between Us, she's the main character that I have in my head. Like her attitude and her way of acting and speaking, she's the character Jennifer. So that's one. The next one is um, Last, uh, Last Christmas with Amelia Clark. That one just came out, I think in 2018, if I'm not mistaken, very new. Um, but spoiler alert, it's sad. It was a really cute movie and it's become one of my favorites to watch. Now, let's head on to classic favorites and I'm going to go up, work my way up to my favorite that I watch every year and we look forward to it all year long because we've watched it at least once a year, if not more. But we watch it every, well, when we set up our Christmas tree, that is the thing, the movie that we watch and it's my favorite, but I'll get to that in a minute. So let's work our way um, up or down to number one, either way. So first we have Jingle All The Way. I That was used to be one of my favorites, is with Arnold Schwarzenegger. And um, I can't remember the other guy's name, but all the movies are, I'm popping them up right here anyway, so you guys know what I'm talking about. Jingle All The Way is one of my favorite movies. I think it's hilarious. I think I, I love seeing Arnold Schwarzenegger in that, um, in that way of acting and I don't know it just became one of my favorite movies to watch during the holiday season. Next we have a classic which is the Santa Claus with Tim Allen. I loved the first one. I like the second one but the first one is where it's at. I love the Santa Claus. I'm a big fan of Tim Allen's. I think he's hilarious and when that movie came out my kids were little and now I get to watch it with my grandkids and I love that movie. Next, we have a classic, of course, it's A Christmas Story. We have to watch that. That movie plays for 24 hours um, Christmas Eve, so, you know, you have to watch it. And it's just, I don't uh, watch it throughout the year. I wait till that day when it's playing on repeat to watch, but it's definitely one of my favorites. I think it's hilarious. I laugh at the jokes. Even though I've seen the movie a million times, I still laugh. Next, we have Home Alone, which is the first one. I love that one. I like the second and the third, but the first one, my favorite. I think it's great. It's a classic movie that we watch every single year. Again, my grandson loves it, so we have a good old time watching that movie together. Next, um, now we're getting into the last three, which are my total favorites. Number three is... The Grinch Who Stole Christmas with Jim Carrey. Huge, huge fan of Jim Carrey's movies. I think he's hilarious, not all of them, but more like the stuff he did in the 90s, you know, like Liar Liar and um, I don't know, just 
all those movies, you know, Ace Ventura, that kind of stuff was hilarious to me. And yeah, so The Grinch Who Stole Christmas is one of my favorite. We just watched it. If you saw my video the other day, that was one of the movies we were watching. We watch it every year. Next, we're moving into my second favorite movie of all time. Well, holiday movie of all time. And that is The Elf. I was not a huge fan of Will Ferrell when he was on SNL and when he did Old School and all those things. But on The Elf, I love him. I think he's hilarious. There's an innocence that he brings to the character that I really love. And that has become, you know, top, top movies for the holiday seasons to watch. It's one of my favorites. I just watched it the other night. And Netflix just released a new uh, show. Um, called the holiday movies that made us and the elf was one of the movies that they were talking about and it's a great show if you've not watched it go back go to Netflix and watch it right now it's so cool to learn about all the behind the scenes and the making of the movies the movie and everything that it took to make the elf so yeah so the elf is number two and number one my all-time my ultimate number one favorite Christmas movie is National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. I've been watching that movie. I can watch that movie all year long. And sometimes we do. Sometimes you know how you get that feel in July that you want to watch a movie. Sometimes we watch it, but we really wait until Thanksgiving, you know, the day after Thanksgiving when we set up our Christmas tree to watch uh, Christmas Vacations. It's one of our family's favorites. We laugh so hard, even though we've watched it. I can't even tell you how many times we've watched that movie. Probably. I don't know, a hundred times, maybe more. Who knows? We still laugh. We still find things that we didn't catch, you know, previous times. And that is one of the best things about watching that movie is we always, because we like to challenge ourselves because we've watched it so many times and we know everything about it. We like to watch it and then try to see if we can catch something new that we perhaps didn't catch last time. So now let's go into the movies that maybe I didn't love as much and that I'm just recommending that you skip. If you like these movies, that's fine. I'm not judging. You can love them. It's fine. It's just my personal opinion. We're going to start with Deck the Halls and that's with Danny DeVito and Matthew Broderick, I think. I don't know how to say his name, but that one, that wasn't very funny. I didn't like it very much. So I don't know. I didn't like it. So I'm just going to recommend that you skip that one. Next, we're going to move on to the Christmas Chronicles 2. We watched Christmas Chronicles 1 and I thought it was cute and I do recommend that you can watch that one. It was a good family movie to watch. It was entertaining. It kept going. It wasn't too long. I thought it was perfect. Christmas Chronicles 2 though with Kurt Russell was just released I think on Thanksgiving Day on Netflix and I didn't love it. I didn't, I thought it was too long. I thought the storyline was going all over the place. I don't know. I wasn't jiving with it. I didn't enjoy it. So I don't recommend that you watch it. But if you liked it, that's fine. More power to you. Next, um, this is a movie that we started watching many, many, many years ago. Probably when it first came out. And that is Bad Santa. And I do not recommend that you watch that movie. It was not my cup of tea. We didn't finish it. So maybe it's not fair that I'm saying skip it. But from what I did watch at the beginning, I did not love it. I didn't like what it stood for. I didn't like the feel of it. So I, I just didn't like that one. So recommend that you skip Bad Santa. And the next one is that I didn't like at all. And I actually just started to watch it the other day again because I wanted to give it another shot because I was like oh it's on TV go ahead I'll watch it and I felt the same way I did when it first came out and that is Christmas with the Cranks <sighs> did not like the acting <laughs> don't like the story didn't like the directing I just I couldn't even finish it again I had to get out of it I was like this is this is not good I can't do it so so those are the movies that I recommend that I watch that I like and the ones that I don't recommend because I don't like them. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and that you enjoyed getting to know me a little bit better through the movies that I like and the movies I dislike. The question for today's video is what is your favorite Christmas movie? Remember to be entered in the giveaway. You have to like and comment on every Vlogmas video that I upload through the 1st through the 25th 
and you have to be subscribed to the channel. I hope you guys are enjoying Vlogmas so far. I will see you again in a brand new video tomorrow. Until then, stay safe.